Hello and welcome to our conversation. My name is Rudolf Mesa, the author of the book Becoming Your Dream. And today I am here with Mr. John Bue, my mentor and president of Tomorrow Stars Scholarship Organization. We are going to talk today about the theme for this book, Becoming Your Dream, and I, I hope that you enjoy it and learn from it. I'm going to ask Mr. Joy to talk to us young people watching that what, I, what do we need to do as young people growing up and what are the things that we have to do to have a successful life as you grow up. Mr. George. Thank you, Rudolph. I think the most important thing is at least starting off by going to school and learning how to read and learning how to learn. And by the time you get through a point of junior high school or high school, you should be learning something about yourself, about what things you're good at, what you like to do, what interests you when you wake up in the morning. And at that point, you are going to start asking yourself, what am I going to do with my life next? And this is a difficult question, but if you get to the point of asking it, then that's when this book comes in pretty handy. That's very wonderful. And so, so just a little recap. It is important to get the education, whether formal or informal. Yes. You have right. to get as close as you need. It gives you the perspectives on how to take the next steps. It doesn't, if, if you were vocational, that's fine. But still you have to learn about yourself and what you're good at to help you make some choices about where to go next. Yes. Yes. And so, again, this book was written to fill that gap, to talk about how to move our dreams from just being a dream to make it into reality. And so we will let Mr. George again to talk to us about the theme for the book and the things that the book cover and why every young person needs to read this book. Sure, Rudolph. This is a, you can even just look at the table of contents and see how it outlines things here. But basically, this is to help some person try to make the decisions of the kind of things they want to do and are good at. And the first step in that is called visualizing your dream. And that, that comes from you. The book doesn't tell you what your dream is. The following chapters on that are trying to convince you that it's uh, possible to achieve, because you have to do that, and then the other steps of trying to figure out the path to get to your particular dream, which isn't known by Rudolph when he writes the book, and then the steps on how to deal with uh, failure when things don't go right, how to break things into smaller steps, how to react to successes. It should be instrumental in helping a young person be able to look at the future of his life. And even then, it's not easy. But this book, at least, is something that I think is uncommonly good at helping a person do that. That's it's very good. And so, like you said, the, the best thing about this book is that it's not just trying to tell you what most other books are saying, it tells you that in a different way, but the best thing is that it's trying to show you what, where to look, but not what to see, Right. because that is what you have to do on your own, like you said, like visualizing your dream and seeing what you want to do is your own, and uh, we're only giving you the perspective and the way to do it, but it is entire, entirely your own to dream and to walk towards your dream. And it's really set up to be about your dream because you're the one that knows how to interpret the lessons in this book. So it really is helpful to help you decide what you want to do. And you still have to work hard at it to be successful. Okay. Thank you for your time. And before we wrap up, you want to know what I find out with for young people watching. Because sometimes we get to a point where things get difficult. Most people want to just quit and give up because we don't see a way out and we have your experiences. I know you've experienced a lot of times when you wanted to stop doing something. So before we wrap up, share with the young people watching, how do we approach such situations? It happens all the time and the important thing is to be safe. And so if you're safe, then you can step back a little bit and look at the situation and try to decide if you go at it again a different way or whether you just have to uh, say the place I am going right now is probably not the right one and even go backwards further to reassess. But uh, those things are going to happen to you and uh, they require a reevaluation going through the same iterative process, I think. Mm -hmm.
Thank you very much for joining us today. We hope you learned something and make sure that you grab a copy of the book, Become Your Dream. Yes. Look in the link below. You can subscribe to our channel on YouTube or call us or visit our website. Thank you.